Hi everyone, I'm here because I am going to interrupt my Valentine crafting because I had to guys. I had to use this die here. This is the ScrapDivaDesigns.com um, market stand mini album. And you know you guys how to make this an album and use Maggie Holmes carousel because I just this just calls for Maggie Holmes. So I had to interrupt my, my Valentine crafting to bring you this project so i'm gonna show you this die here is available on her website guys if you haven't grabbed it it is available remember when it's gone it's gone and so this is a perfect size to make an album or an embellishment uh the design team is also making boxes and cards i mean you can make so many things with this die and go to hashtag scrap diva designs and follow the hashtag because the design team is amazing and they're making kinds of beautiful projects with this die. I also use this small slider set number two and it's this one here. I'm going to show you how I used it on my project right now. And this one that was released um, in December and this one is a tap set number two. And so I use this one for the inside of my mini album. So let me show you. Ready to create it. And yes, yes, I'm a squeal. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so cute. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, let, let her strut her stuff on the screen. Look how cute. Let me measure so you guys could know the measurement or oh, the size of this album when it's all said and done. So it is about six and a half by five. I do want to mention that I also use this die here. This one uh, came with the Sunflower album die. And all it is, it's a little attachment that you place onto your, onto your die cut. And you sandwich it between two pages. So as you see here, I use this piece. Of course, I placed my eyelets on there so it could look cute. And then, of course, added my rings on here. And look how adorable this little small die. I keep it on the side because I make a lot of mini albums with this. Just this small little die, guys. Good to have, okay? <laughs> if you have it in another set, uh, just have it on the side and put it with your um, mostly used dies. Um, so let me start off with this dangle here. Yes, yes, I have a dangle. It is a, uh, it's a bulldog clip that I added. So the recipient could just take it off while they add pictures or they, um, add, uh, their touch on the album. So first part is I made it a shaker and I use the small border of the die. It was a little finicky to work with, but if you set it inside of the foam, you could, um, cause I use the thinner foam. You could use the five millimeter foam and it'll work better for you, but I use the thin one inside of the, um, die cut itself. And then it remained more solid. And then I glued the first part, which is um, the acetate. And then, of course, I placed the border on the acetate. And, and and it turned out like this. So it is a shaker. I use my carousel uh, chipboard. And what I did is I fussy cut uh, my pieces out. I fussy cut this trim right here in gold. And then I fussy cut another one in black. And when it came to this part here, I just fussy cut black pieces and just placed them on my project. I did stitch all around. Then I, I did um, paper piece, this gold piece here, just die cut uh, this part of the die. It comes with, uh, comes with three pieces and these three pieces are included in the die set. So you have the backing, then you have the one that has the stitching on it which is this one and then you have this one here so all i did is i die cut this part in gold and i just paper pieced it here i paper piece the handle gold and this part here gold right here as you see and then um and of course it comes with this additional piece that you can layer on top 
so that's what I did and instead of using this one here um, as a backing that's when I created my shaker I left this a small little border all around of course I use some um, washi tape to hold it made sure that I have enough of a small little border all around and it die cut and it produced this I know it's a little tiny tiny but if you do it on five millimeter foam I think it'll turn out better if you want to make a shaker you know you guys I love making shakers so this turned out cute added my chipboard here some trim the little heart that comes and this wheel look at the wheel guys it's so cute so yeah so this one is the first page or the front cover of my album let me open this baby up. So here in the front, I added, most of these are tuck spots or pockets. And so my carousel, um, I love it. So I even use the front part of the um, of the six by eight and I recycled it. So I, I um, used, I cut out Maggie Holmes carousel because I wanted to keep that and I love it as a sentiment. So when you open it, it says Maggie Holmes Carousel. Then here, this is where I use this die. I use a, this, this die here for this opening here so I could tuck in or make a pocket for these tags that I made. So the person can journal, add a picture, further embellish or add stickers. Used a another, um, paper a digital paper that i have in my stash that also says carousel so if you see different type of paper i use that too they make this one as a tag and of course look i stitched love that zebra added my little sentiment and then my star and a little pom-pom there and then this one is a band added some cut aparts in here look how super cute that looks so right here this is the tab die I use this tab die here, tab set number two, to make this page here. So just cut it out and it is measures around six by four. So all I did is I cut a six by four piece of paper, then I added my edge to it and it just, it cut it out, added some of the um, tabs, a sentiment here and it says delightful. And then of course I embellished it with cabochons then on this side, there is a little tuck spot right here. Look how cute. I love, I love this collection. How pretty. And then added some hearts, added some pom-poms, pom-poms right there. Here, it's another belly band. But instead of a vertically, I added it across some of those sticky notes, which I made a little banner. And then I put a little bow there and I stuck some more of these little tags here. This is another tab piece. How cute it turned out. Then this side here added another sentiment. Used some more of those sticky note banners. It just sewed. Added my trim and made this little tag here. How cute. Just tucked it in there and then used some of my chipboard. It says, hello, love. Over here, I used some of the paper that Luisa sent me because I really wanted to use it with carousel. And look how it goes, it's so perfect. And I made a little um, tab here. It says, live this life, adventure awaits. And now to the side, I added some of the um, carousel stickers. On this side, I made a pocket and I added a little swan with some chipboard and just a little cluster there. And onto the side, I it, it is a pocket. And then this one, I recycled this part here too and then made a little pocket within a pocket so cute and you can add a picture here and then I have another little another tag here she is brave look how cute so then on the last page here it is another one of the openings that I die cut and stuck this card here, which the person can add a picture in the back. And um, it says, life is a grand adventure. And then added that there. And then you use some of the 
the paper that Lisa sent me, the vellum paper from Dollar Tree. Look how perfect it goes. And then of course, uh, this is the front of the six by eight, which I totally reused. And I used the, um, the, I used the sturdy cardstock for the, also the binding of this beautiful flip, flip mini album. How pretty. So then this is the, uh, back of the album and it just turned out so pretty i love 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 it check out scrapdivadesigns.com and to use eve 10 to get your 10 percent off and check out the design team and what they're working on because there's so much inspiration thank you thank you so much for stopping by today and i will talk to you on the next video